What's up, Hyperware enthusiasts? Sam Dowd, Hyperware Master Trainer, here with Mr. Max Bookman, founder and head trainer of Max Training, headquartered here at the 360 Performance Training Studio at 5656 B Caves Road, in beautiful Austin, Texas. We're here for our second trainer profile in the Roving Reporter series. We're going to ask Max a couple questions and then have him lead us through a little demo workout with a friend of his. So, Max, let me ask you first of all, how did you get started working with Hyperware products? What was your first introduction to Hyperware? I was working at a gym called Train for the Game, and uh, one of the Hyperware reps came in the front door, and I'll never forget it because he had on like suit pants and a nice shirt, and then the key spot of his whole outfit was a Hyperware weight vest. Excellent. And he comes in just sporting it, and I'm like, who is this guy? And he had all this energy and he came in and we just started, you know, uh, throwing stuff around and moving ideas back and forth. And I just saw how motivated of a company it was um, and how dedicated they were to making products that really, uh, really changed the way that people train. So it got me excited about it. Excellent. And how, is, how has Hyperware changed your training, your approach to health and fitness in general and your approach with your clients? Yeah, well, um, the sandbags in particular and the steel bells, uh, such a versatile tool. Uh, you can move them around in many different ways. You can apply them to almost any exercise. You know, anything you can use a dumbbell for, you can use a sandbag for. Um, but also, uh, as I was looking at movements that I wanted to train in the gym from somebody's sport, I found it really easy to take a movement out of a sport and bring it into the gym and add a little bit of weight with the, with the sand bell and make it an explosive drill or uh, find another way to load it or challenge that movement in the gym to benefit my athletes when they went back out into you know whatever sport they were doing. Excellent. So what would you say your long-term performance goal is, your long-term fitness goal? You mentioned your, your time in jiu-jitsu. Why don't you elaborate a little bit on that and, and tell us kind of what you want to see happen in the future with your own personal training? Yeah, well, with my own training, um, I've gone many different routes. I've done you know jiu-jitsu, um, got really big into cycling here in Austin, Texas, which is a great city for it. Um, and really, for me, it's just about keeping it fresh, keeping motivated. You know, I want to be active my whole life and, you know, finding ways to stay motivated to challenge myself in different ways and do different things as the years go on um, and just keep it fun and, uh, you know, live the active lifestyle, but also keep my, keep my brain spinning the whole time I'm doing it. Excellent. That sounds great. So another caveat of motivation that we're kind of expanding upon with all of our trainer profiles is you got to stay balanced to mm -hmm. in order to stay motivated but what would you say are some of the areas in your life where you you can't quite find the balance what are maybe some of your nutritional weaknesses <laughs> or deficiencies that we can kind yeah, of elaborate on well you, you definitely said it right there with uh, with the nutrition with cycling and you know working out so much and being in the gym all day you know I don't have to maybe watch uh, what I eat as much uh, as a lot of people but um, my biggest weakness man is all I'll jump in the P. Terry's line every now and then and get a burger. If it's been like a long day of working out, I've done like three workouts and you know, I don't feel like cooking that night, I'll do it, yeah. Excellent. P. Terry's, you heard it here, <laughs> major nutritional weakness, but it's Max Bookman, founder, lead trainer of Max Training, headquartered here in beautiful Austin, Texas. You can find Max Training LLC on Facebook and also maxbookman.com as well. So check those out. Give them a shout if you have any kind of questions or want to seek any kind of additional advice from this hyperware enthusiast. In a moment, we'll have Chris and one of his trainer friends expand on one of their favorite sandbags. Hey, y'all. I'm Max Bookman here with my trainer buddy, Chris Llewellyn. We're going to show you an explosive exercise to do with a uh, sandbag throw. And start us off. So we're going to do a forward throw to a row. So he throws it, rows it back. Nice, Chris, hit the other side. And rows it back with the other arm. Perfect. Now we're going to use the frontal plane sideways. Nice, Chris. That's 
Let's do a rotational throw, the transverse plane of motion. See that big twist? Nice, Chris, one more. Alright, Max Bookman here. We're going to go through a second exercise. It's going to take the basic exercise of a plank. We're going to add a sandbell and make it a little bit more dynamic. So Chris is going to grab the sandbell in one hand and do a sagittal plane or a front to back arm driver using his whole body. Big reach and then he brings it back. Perfect. Next up he's going to return towards the camera. He's going to use the frontal plane of motion and do kind of a side bend reach but utilizing that same plank position. Nice, Chris. And the third range of motion, uh, rotational. Exact same thing, perfect. It's great for core. Nice work, Chris. Well, Hyperware, thanks for coming out and seeing us and uh, making such cool toys for us to play with and uh, get our work done.